vent castle vessels that is distensible vessels these vessels are highly elastic vent castle means elastic reservoir for example aorta pulmonary artery and their larger branches resistance vessels they contain less elastic tissue but more smooth muscles they can change the diameter by contraction or relaxation of the smooth muscles this changes the resistance and thus influences flow through these vessels so these vessels are also called as resistance vessels for example arterioles meta arterioles and precapillary sphincters capacitance vessels are thin walled and highly distensible so they have the ability to store large amount of blood and hence called capacitance vessels for example veins exchange vessels are the thin walled and have fenestration and help in the exchange of materials between blood and interstitial fluid for example capillaries shunt or thoroughfare vessels are uh, the bypass capillaries for example artery venous anastomosis wind kessel effect as the heart contracts intermittently the pressure and blood flow in the large arteries is pulsatile that is during systole volume of the blood is pumped maximum and in diastole it is minimum however the flow of blood through the blood vessels is continuous it is because of the behavioral pattern of aorta and other large vessels during ventricular systole the blood enters the large arteries with considerable force and this blood can be accommodated by distensible nature of the blood vessels during diastole force is absent and the volume of the blood entering vessels is zero but since vessels recoil due to the elastic property the blood pressure is retained and the blood is pumped to the periphery this recoil effect is called as wind kessel effect and the vessels exerting this effect are called as wind kessel vessels for example aorta pulmonary artery and their large branches so this is the mechanism by which uh, uh, the wind kessel effect acts when blood flows into the artery it is going to create the pressure and because of the elasticity they are going to tend to distend and when they recoil they are going to push the blood in a forward direction and this is called as wind